Am I the only one who thinks that celebrity marriages just never end well? It almost feels like every day there's some kind of cheating scandal or divorce announcement from Hollywood and it really sucks for them. Sometimes things just don't work out. It could be a case of right person wrong time, or maybe they turned out to be a very different person after marriage. Either way, sometimes these marriages just don't work out, so let's talk about some of them today as we count down the top 10 celebrities who married awful people. At number 10, Luann and Tom D'Agostino. Real Housewives of New York cast members Luann and Tom D'Agostino weren't the greatest pair and everyone on set could have told you that. The toxicity ran deep with these two, but most of it stemmed from Tom. The other cast members actually warned Luann about Tom, saying that he was untrustworthy and that he was still in love with his ex, but even with that warning, Luann continued her romance and the two got married on New Year's Eve in 2016. At the end of the show's eighth season, it was revealed that one of the cast members had compromising photos of Tom kissing another woman just days after his and Luann's engagement party. This was a big red flag, as you can imagine. Soon it became apparent to the public that there were some serious problems in their relationship as Luann Luann and Tom got into a heated argument in public at a restaurant, which ended with Luann slapping Tom across the face. This heated relationship and Tom's constant cheating never subsided, as days before their divorce announcement, Tom was caught with yet another woman, but at that point, no one was really all that surprised. They were only married for seven months, but those were the craziest seven months of their lives. Luann regrets not listening to her castmates when they warned her about Tom, and she wishes she never married such an awful person. At number nine, Chad Johnson and Evelyn Lozada. Chad Johnson, also known as Chad Ochocinco, and ex-wife Evelyn Lozada were only married for two months, but so much happened in that short amount of time to permanently damage their relationship. Their relationship was intense and toxic, but it wasn't until after they got married that the world really learned just how awful it was. After dating for less than a year, the two were wed in a 4th of July ceremony in 2012, but just two months later, there came an incident that broke them apart. Evelyn recalled finding a receipt in Chad's car for items that prompted the idea that Chad was cheating. The two fought and it all ended with Chad seriously injuring his wife. Chad was arrested for battery and DV and they divorced shortly after the incident. Evelyn did an interview after the ordeal where she opened up about her feelings on the situation and how her life had been affected by it. After that, the couple split up and moved on with their lives. Before we carry on talking about some of the worst celebrity marriages, let me first ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far and also consider subscribing to the channel as well to see more videos like this one. At number 8, Elizabeth Taylor and Conrad Hilton. Elizabeth Taylor was one of Hollywood's most memorable icons and surprisingly she was married 8 times. She had many stories and encounters to recall throughout her life, but one of her shortest and most regrettable marriages she had was to hotel heir Conrad Hilton. The two were only married for 205 days before undoing their marriage after feeling neglected and hurt by her new husband. She was only 18 at the time of her marriage, but shortly after their wedding, Liz recalled how indifferent Conrad was towards her and how hurt she felt when he spoke to her using abusive language. Liz won her divorce on the grounds of mental cruelty. She refused alimony and took back her maiden name. It was almost like it never happened and Liz wanted it that way. She knew that she deserved better in life and refused to put up with Conrad's horrible treatment of her. During their honeymoon, the two reportedly fought a lot and spent more time apart than they did together, so this was one of the first red flags that things just weren't right between them. She later told news sources that her idea of marriage was very naive and so she regretted her decision. She lived a better life without him anyway. At number 7, Ike and Tina Turner. Tina Turner is an absolute legend. And to think that someone would ever want to hurt this talented woman is honestly so sad. Ike and Tina were a musical powerhouse, but they had a tumultuous and toxic relationship, leaving Tina regretting having ever known him. The two met while Tina was still a teenager, and they began performing together, starting their musical act. In 1962, the two got married and continued to perform together for the following decade. Though they were a successful duo, Ike had been severely hurting Tina behind the scenes, causing her so much pain that she didn't deserve and even prompting her to try to take her own life. After surviving her attempt, she made it her mission to leave Ike and begin a fresh start on her own. That's exactly what she did and she became an even bigger star because of it. At number 6, Jennifer Lopez and Ojani Noah. Jennifer Lopez is no stranger to walking down the aisle. She's been married three times already, but the one relationship that was her worst was her first marriage to Ojani Noah. Their marriage lasted less than a year, but their tumultuous drama 
month that came after their divorce has lasted much longer. It seems as though their relationship was destined to fail as Ojani documented a lot of JLo's life behind the scenes, saving it for later for his own tea spill. Noah tried leaking videos from the couple's honeymoon after their divorce, showing the singer in an intimate setting, and in years since, has been very outspoken about the singer, her career, and even had plans to release a tell-all book about his ex, followed by a movie deal. He really came into the relationship for his own personal gain, not for love, it seems. JLo actually ended up suing Ojani in 2009 for $10 million, citing that the videos he released, as well as the book and movie deals, violated an agreement that they had, which prohibited him from exposing the singer's life. Jennifer now looks back on this relationship with regret and doesn't even count her marriage to Ajani as valid because of how short it was. At number 5, John Finley and Joe Exotic We all know about Joe Exotic and his crazy relationships. After he gained a little fame with the success of the Tiger King documentary on Netflix last year, he and the others involved in his life became sort of public figures. To give us more insight on Joe, his ex-husband John Finley recently came forward to talk about his life after the documentary brought him some minor popularity and he exposed his former relationship with the now imprisoned Big Cat owner and exposed their marriage. John cannot express enough how regretful his marriage to Joe Exotic was. John said that this whole marriage was fake and toxic and that it was just for Joe's popularity, remarking that the wedding that was shown in the documentary, which showed him, Joe, and Travis Maldonado, was all, quote, basically a publicity stunt so Joe could get his own reality TV series, end quote. John spoke out saying that he still carries the pain from his time with Joe and is trying to forget his past by moving on with his new wife and making steps towards having the tattoos of Joe removed from his body. Joe went through a lot of trauma when he was with Joe, but luckily he's moving on from this dark time in his life. At number 4, Madonna and Guy Ritchie Here's a marriage that was messy and toxic in every way possible. Madonna and Guy Ritchie divorced over 10 years ago, but their hatred towards one another still lives on, even if it's not as much as it used to be. The two were married for almost a decade, but their distaste for one another has lasted much longer, and because of this negativity, they no doubt regret ever being married in the first place. They both brought their own toxicity into the relationship, so I guess it could be said that they both married awful people because they were just as bad as each other. It seems like their marriage turned sour because Madonna was working so hard on her career and so things became strained between them and the hostility began to grow. Coming out of the divorce, the worst of it started to come out. Guy made a lot of harsh comments about his marriage to Madonna, comparing his relationship with the singer to a soap opera and also said that she was more concerned with her public image than she was with their marriage. Madonna fired back at her ex in the past, saying that she felt like she was incarcerated during their marriage and that Guy was nothing but a gold digger. There is just a lot of drama there which really shows that they weren't a good match at all. At number 3, Wendy Williams and Kevin Hunter Sr. In 2019, talk show host Wendy Williams exposed her husband's serious affair with his massage therapist. Wendy's 20-year marriage to husband Kevin Hunter Sr. was dissolved after he was accused of not only cheating on Wendy, but also fathering another woman's child. When news broke of Kevin's affair, it was also revealed that the mistress had given birth to their child, and upon discovering this information, Wendy called it quits right then and there. When speaking out about the whole dramatic affair, Wendy said, quote, look, my husband had a full baby with a woman he was involved with for 15 years. Infidelity is one thing, a full baby is a whole nother topic. A baby. I'm not changing pampers. I want to be pampered. I learned from my mother how to make lemons into lemonade. What am I supposed to do? Stay in the house and cry all day? End quote. She definitely regrets her marriage to Kevin just because of how serious his affair was. She married an awful person because not only did he end up cheating on Wendy, but he had a whole child with another woman. At that point, I'm sure you would wish that you had never met that person in the first place. At number two, Alexis DeJoria, Sandra Bullock, and Jesse James. Once a cheater, always a cheater, right? That's normally how things go. Well, that's how drag racer Alexis DeJoria and Sandra Bullock feel about their ex-husband Jesse James. Jesse has earned the label of serial cheater after it was discovered that there was some serious infidelity plaguing not only his past relationship with Sandra Bullock, but also his most recent marriage to Alexis. Both Sandra and Alexis have been caught in a cheating scandal with Jesse, and his most recent scandal revealed that Jesse cheated on Alexis with at least 20 different women. According to some sources, it was revealed that Jesse snuck women into his family home with 
and Alexis, as well as fly women out to Austin just to hook up with them in hotel rooms. It was also reported that Alexis tried her best to work things out with Jesse, but he just wasn't interested in making things work and healing their marriage. After all of this drama and broken trust, both Alexis and Sandra regret ever being married to Jesse because of how much disregard he seemed to have for both of their respective relationships. They both married an awful man and they certainly deserved a better partner. And finally, at number one, Mary Kate Olsen and Olivier Sarkozy. After multiple attempts and a lot of drama, Mary Kate Olsen filed for divorce from her husband Olivier Sarkozy in 2020. Mary Kate had tried multiple times to file for divorce from her husband through the New York City courts last year, but because of the pandemic and stay at home orders in New York, she was denied twice before finally having her paperwork accepted in late May. She wanted to get out of that marriage as soon as possible because drama and toxicity made it unbearable for her to go on any longer. The two had been married since 2015 and apparently had a number of rough patches, most notably their stance on starting a family. Olivier, who already had children with his ex-wife, didn't want any more, though Mary Kate did. And on top of that, apparently the tipping point in their relationship was when Olivier's ex-wife moved into the couple's home. Mary Kate seemed to have had enough with their disagreements and especially those which involved the ex-wife, so she decided to leave her husband. Following her desire to leave, her husband apparently kicked Mary Kate out of their home and she was close to losing all of her personal belongings. She later realized what an awful person she married, but I'm sure she's glad to be out of that relationship now. At number 10, Mike Tyson and Robin Givens. Mike Tyson's first marriage to wife Robin Givens was a rocky one. After 11 months of dating, the couple got married in 1988 in the wake of Robin's pregnancy and afterwards, Mike gave Robin and her mother around $10 million to get them settled. In Mike's memoir, he accused Robin of marrying him and locking him into a relationship for her own gain, as he alleged that her pregnancy and subsequent miscarriage were faked in order to get him to marry her. In the media, Mike was dragged through the mud. There were allegations of mistreatment on Mike's part, and the infamous Barbara Walters interview did not help his image. The interview was originally supposed to be a one on one profile of Mike, but before the interview, Robin allegedly pulled Barbara aside and told her that she didn't have the whole truth about them. Robin was then invited to join the interview where she opened up about the things that she sustained while married to Mike and commenting on how she's been treated. And I woke up and I said, I don't deserve this. I never had this in my life before and I'm not gonna tolerate this. Soon after the interview, Robin filed for a divorce from Mike and was later caught cheating on him with Brad Pitt. Mike most definitely regrets marrying Robin as he said so in his book, and others refer to his marriage to Robin as quote, the one that ruined him. People online still debate who was in the wrong in this relationship and who was worse, but do you have any thoughts on this? Let me know down in the comments. At number 9, Axl Rose and Aaron Everly. The tumultuous relationship of Axl Rose and Aaron Everly is one that is certainly unforgettable, but not necessarily in the best way. The two met while Axl, the front man for Guns N' Roses, was still a struggling musician in the early days of his music career. Aaron became one of the most important people in Axl's life, being the inspiration for the song Sweet Child of Mine. Despite being a good looking match on the outside, they had a tumultuous relationship, but that didn't stop them from getting married at a Las Vegas ceremony in 1990. Axel allegedly forced Aaron into the marriage after he threatened to harm himself if she didn't marry him, so things were already off to a pretty toxic start. The marriage was later annulled in 1991, just nine months after getting married, and in 94, Aaron filed a civil lawsuit against Axel, where she alleged that she was mistreated by her then husband. Since the split, Aaron has auctioned off memorabilia that she had kept from her days with Axel in the band, looking to rid herself of any trace of her old ties with them, as she's carried a lot of that pain with her for so long. From what she said about her marriage, to Axel, things were certainly bad, and he wasn't the best person to be married to by a long shot. Before we carry on talking about some of these horrible celebrity marriages, why not subscribe to see more videos like this one and leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far. At number 8, Prince Charles and Princess Diana. Prince Charles and Princess Diana were one of the most beloved celebrity couples. The whole world loved them. Well, they loved Diana more than anything. She was considered to be the people's princess, but behind closed doors she was living a hard life neglected by her husband. She was always second best in Charles' eyes, having never gotten over his infatuation for Camilla Parker Bowles. Charles and Diana got married in 1981 and had two kids together, but because of Charles' extramarital affairs and Diana's unhappiness in the relationship, they got divorced in 1996. Diana regretted marrying Charles because she always knew that there would always be three people in the marriage, her, Charles, and Camilla. 
She deserved so much better, but she got Charles' cold shoulder instead. She was loved by the world, and eventually, after she was freed from the royal family, that became enough. Now, I'm not saying that Charles is an awful person himself, but their whole marriage just wasn't very positive, and Diana got into a pretty unfortunate situation when she married the prince. At number 7, Audrina Patridge and Corey Bowen. The Hill star Audrina Patridge and BMX athlete Corey Bowen had a toxic and tumultuous relationship that was really just negative in every sense of the word. After about 7 years of dating, the couple got engaged in November of 2015 and were soon married by the following year after welcoming their daughter Kira into the world. By 2018, they were done and the legal battle began. Audrina alleged that Corey was violent towards her. Leading up to their official divorce, Audrina had been granted a restraint order preventing Corey from being within 100 feet of his wife and daughter. Audrina claimed that Corey had been very aggressive towards her on multiple occasions and that she just couldn't take it anymore. Luckily, she was able to get out of that horrible relationship and probably regrets getting into it in the first place. Needless to say, this was an awful marriage through and through. At number 6, Marilyn Monroe and Joe DiMaggio When Marilyn Monroe and Joe DiMaggio got married, it was a pretty big deal. The actress and the athlete looked like a beautiful match who were deeply in love, having met and married within a relatively short amount of time. They looked to be head over heels for each other, but some believe that their marriage was rushed because it all took place within the time that they had between work engagements. They got married in a quiet city hall ceremony in January 1954 and turned a work trip to Japan into their honeymoon. But just not Nine months later, that spark had faded and their relationship crumbled apart. Joe allegedly wanted a stay at home wife, but because Marilyn was at the height of her career, she wouldn't agree to that and wanted to keep working. Joe also apparently had a hard time coming to terms with his wife's image, and apparently her famous subway great scene was the last straw. Their marriage ended with Marilyn citing mental cruelty as one of the reasons behind their divorce. She didn't like how her husband didn't want to support her, and that's just not what she needed in her life then. In a relationship, you need to be able to support your partner no matter what, so clearly this wasn't a very good match. At number 5, Eddie Murphy and Tracy Edmonds Comedian Eddie Murphy has had his quarrels with love. After a number of failed relationships, he thought he found the one when he met producer Tracy Edmonds. They dated for a few months before getting engaged, eventually leading to a lavish $500,000 wedding in Bora Bora. You know, things are getting serious when you take it all the way to a tiny island in the middle of the ocean. Their wedding, which was attended by 25 people, wasn't technically legally binding, but they had planned to go through with the whole process upon getting back to the United States after their ceremony, but but unfortunately, that never ended up happening. It's said that things started to go downhill quite quickly after the ceremony, as people reported Eddie being standoffish and not wanting to spend time with his new bride. Other guests who stayed on the island after the ceremony reported that they could hear Eddie and Tracy yelling at each other, fighting, which ended with Tracy in tears. Just two weeks after the wedding, they decided that marriage just wasn't for them, and they called it quits. Even though they weren't technically legally married, their marriage was still awful, and they were equally as bad for each other. Maybe it's for the best that things didn't work out. At number 4, Lena Waithe and Alana Mayo Screenwriter Lena Waithe and her ex-wife Alana Mayo surprised fans when they announced that they had gotten married in a private and secret ceremony that was a spur of the moment decision, but just two months later they announced their separation. In a joint statement to their supporters, the couple announced that they were splitting up, and so as fans do, they speculated as to why they ended their relationship so quickly. Rumors that Lena had been unfaithful started swirling and some sort Sources even said that their relationship had been rocky even before the couple got married. According to some, Lena and Alana's wedding came after multiple cases of cheating, and that even after their wedding, Lena was still buying expensive gifts for other women. Allegedly, this was all too much for Alana to handle, and so they called it quits. Cheating in a relationship is always a recipe for disaster, and marrying a cheater is just so unfortunate, but at least you get to move on to bigger and better things. At number 3, Cardi B and Offset. Cardi and Offset have had a rocky relationship, and many people say that they're both just awful for each other. Because of all the drama that these two have had in the past during their marriage, and the fact that they almost got divorced, I think it's safe to say that things have been bad before, and it's honestly kind of debatable whether things are actually okay now or not. Though they have been married for over three years and have kids together, apparently that hasn't stopped Offset from seeking comfort elsewhere. As I mentioned, Cardi even filed for divorce from Offset in 2020 because of his infidelity, so they later got back together after he spoiled her for her birthday, buying her a $300,000 car and dedicating a billboard to her. 
Offset has had a number of cheating scandals over the course of his relationship with Cardi. In 2018, about a year after the couple got married in secret, Offset faced rumors that he had cheated on Cardi and even made an adult film with another woman. Back in 2020, he faced more cheating allegations when it was rumored that he even fathered a child during this affair. A lot of people say that this is a toxic relationship, but they just keep coming back to each other, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see how things play out, I guess. At number 2, JLo and Alex Rodriguez Now even though they weren't technically married, Alex Rodriguez and Jennifer Lopez still had the intention of doing so. That is, until things got messy and Alex was caught in a cheating scandal. Cheating scandals aren't anything new for the baseball player, having been accused of infidelity in the past, but this new scandal might have been the one where JLo said enough is enough and called off the wedding. In January of this year, Alex was accused of cheating on JLo with reality TV star Madison LaCroix. This rumor started circulating after after LaCroix was accused of having an alleged affair with a former MLB player. And this was brought up during a taping of a reality reunion show. Shortly after the taping aired, these allegations escalated with Madison admitting to having been in contact with A-Rod. She insisted that their communications were innocent, saying that they never met up and never had any physical contact, saying quote, he's never physically cheated with his fiance with me. The only solid proof that we have of A-Rod being in contact with Madison comes from a source close to Alex who told sources that Alex had slid into Madison. DMs and that they had exchanged some quote thirsty photos. Not too long after this all went down, A Rod and J Lo announced that they were breaking up and called off their engagement. Cheaters are awful. Period. And finally, at number one, Jaina Kramer and Mike Cawson. I stand by the saying, once a cheater, always a cheater, and so do a lot of people who've been in failed relationships. Once your partner does you wrong once, it takes a lot to regain that trust, and sometimes, after a bond is broken, this seems to have been the case with football player Mike Cawson and his wife, singer and actress Jaina Kramer. The couple faced a cheating scandal in 2016, and after that, they spent the next few years trying to work on their marriage, trying to reconcile after this drama affected them so greatly, but the couple recently called it quits on their marriage when Jana took to social media in late April to announce their divorce. Her message to the public read, quote, It's time. I try and make sense of a reality I never wanted to believe could be possible again. Those words have now become reality. I've fought, y'all. I've loved hard. I've forgiven. i put the work in. I've given everything I have, and now I have nothing else to give. The couple briefly split following the cheating scandal I mentioned before, where Mike's secrets were exposed, and though they were able to make amends and try to work on regaining their bond, things just weren't meant to work out in the long term, it seems. In her filings, Janet also cited causes and reasons for their divorce saying that quote, inappropriate marital conduct, irreconcilable differences, and adultery were the reasons behind their failed marriage. In the end, people came to see that Jana married a pretty awful person, but the fact that they're free from each other is for the best, so now they can move on and grow from this. At number 10, Kenya Duke and Gary Owen. Imagine being betrayed by your partner after 20 years of marriage. Well, that's essentially what Kenya Duke went through after she found out that her husband Gary Owen had been cheating. Kenya Duke filed for divorce in March of this year, making allegations that her husband had been unfaithful in their marriage. After news broke of their divorce filing, Kenya took to her Instagram to imply that her husband had an affair with a woman from Dallas, someone who was mutual friends with Gary and reality TV star Claudia Jordan. In a now deleted Instagram post, Kenya sent a message to the other woman, whom she calls Dallas, Texas, saying, quote, Dallas, Texas, I have your info. I'm going to deal with you in a minute. I'm a little busy now. You can have him, but you can't disrespect me and my kids in the process. At Gary Owen Comedy, let her know a storm is coming. You should know about Better. Married, not separated. Married. End quote. But Kenya wasn't done clapping back though, because she also followed this message up with one that was meant for her husband, where she said, quote, All the energy you spent lying, acting, and creating a fake narrative for these women that you want to be me, you could have done it with a veggie burger and a glass of fake filtered water. End quote. I've said it in every single one of these videos, but being with a cheater just means you married an awful person. At number nine, Tiger Woods and Ellen Norgren. One of the most famous cheating scandals from pro golfer Tiger Woods in 2009 shattered his golden boy image and made him look like an awful person. It all started with a car crash. Tiger had crashed his Cadillac into a fire hydrant and this incident made headlines, but it also drew attention to another headline that he had made days earlier after tabloids published a story alleging that Tiger was having an affair with a nightclub manager. Soon one alleged affair turned into many more as six women ended up coming forward, saying that they had also had intimate relationships with the golfer. His wife was understandably furious to find out about all of her husband's affairs and their marriage was ruined after that. I'm sure she no doubt 
regretted ever marrying such an awful person in the first place. Before we continue talking about celebrities who made horrible marriage decisions, why not take a moment to leave a like on this video to help support the channel and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos like this one. At number 8, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Maria Shriver. Actor and former governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger, was caught in a very messy and high profile cheating scandal that not only brought life into the world but ruined relationships and turned him into an awful person. In 1997, Arnold had an affair with the family's former housekeeper Patty and she soon became pregnant with his son. At the very same time, Arnold's wife was also expecting their fourth kid. As if the universe wanted to make things extra chaotic for Arnold, both his wife and mistress ended up giving birth within 5 days of each other, though they wouldn't know about one another until about a decade later. But much like all secrets, they come out eventually and Arnold ended up coming clean to his wife about his affair in 2007. This information wasn't immediately shared with the public until 2011 where things blew up. Arnold revealed his infidelity to the public after announcing that he and his wife Maria were separating while also revealing the truth about his kid with his mistress. This wasn't fair to Arnold's wife nor his mistress because this secret really blew up their lives and it affected their kids too, so Maria certainly married someone awful. At number 7, Woody Allen and Mia Farrow. Now even though they weren't actually married, I felt like I had to include Woody Allen and Mia Farrow's relationship on here because of just how messed up it was because Woody had an affair with Mia's adopted daughter and that is seriously messed up. Mia's daughter Soon Yi was adopted when she was about 7 years old and because Mia and Woody were together, Woody became a father figure to her. In 1992, when Soon Yi was 21, Mia discovered that her daughter and her partner Woody were in a secret relationship when she found intimate photos of Soon Yi. When Mia confronted Woody, he revealed that he and Soon Yi had been together for a short time and that he was in love with her. This subsequently ended their relationship and Alan moved on with Soon Yi, later getting married in 1997. When reports came out about their marriage, this took a lot of people by surprise and made a lot of people angry. Woody was deemed a pretty horrible person for getting with Mia's daughter and people haven't been able to stop thinking about how creepy and wrong that is. Woody and Soon Yi seem fine with it all, but that doesn't take away from the fact that Woody is an awful person for that. At number 6, David Letterman and Regina Lasko. When people are having an affair, they become very secretive as to not get caught, but in most cases, cheaters are almost always exposed so people can see what a horrible person this cheater is. This is what happened with David Letterman as someone caught wind of his scandalous extramarital entanglements. In October 2009 on his late night talk show, David Letterman got serious with his audience and he exposed his affair and revealed to the public that he had been intimately involved with someone from the studio. He also revealed that this revelation he is sharing was because someone was threatening to blackmail him for $2 million. He said that one day he found a mysterious package sitting in his car and it included proof of his affair and a demand to be paid in order to keep things quiet. He said that if he didn't pay up, his blackmailer would reveal his secrets to the public. But rather than get swallowed up in the scandal, he faced it head on. Soon details of his affair started to come to light, detailing how he had slept with women who worked for him at the studio. He was married at the time of the scandal and remains so to this day. The couple were able to work through things, but David is still an awful person for cheating on his spouse. At number 5, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Brangelina used to be one of the hottest celebrity matches in Hollywood, but ever since their split, it's been dark times for them, especially Brad. Once upon a time, they were seen as the industry's it couple, having spanned over 10 years and raising many kids together, but their divorce is where things get toxic and messy. When the couple announced that they were calling it quits in 2016, a lot of people wondered why, and one of the answers given was because of a dispute that Brad had allegedly had with Angelina about his substance abuse that resulted in Brad getting into an altercation with their oldest son Maddox. It was alleged that Brad was hurting others, and though an investigation cleared him of said allegations, Angie is now saying that she's prepared to share proof that Brad was in fact hurting his family. Recently, Angelina came forward saying that she is willing to offer her children's testimony against Brad as proof, and this could blow the doors off their relationship, giving us more information as to how toxic things really were. The fact that Angie claimed to have proof of how bad things were shows how serious the situation was, and the fact that there's been so much drama and allegations against Brad, he might be considered to be an awful person. At number 4, Eminem and Kim Mathers. When asked about some toxic relationships they know of, a surprising amount of people reference Eminem and his ex-wife Kim Mathers because of their rocky past and marriage. Eminem met Kim in a youth home in 1988 when they were teenagers. From that point on, they stayed by each other's side even when living together at Eminem's mother's house. From that point until 1999, the two had a rocky and sort of toxic relationship, being an on and off again couple. In 1995, they had a daughter and in 99, the two ended up getting married. Their wedding took place on June 14, 1999, just before Marshall's first major tour as his career was taking off. Kim said later on that this tour took the greatest toll on their marriage, saying, quote, when Marshall's first tour started is when his ego just went poof, like he was God, that's what he thought. I was told that I should be grateful that he still talks to me. You know how many women 
throw themselves at him. And I just pretty much felt like a piece of crap. End quote. From then, their marriage went downhill as they were met with cheating scandals and mental health struggles. Eventually, they got a divorce in 2000, remarried in 2006, then divorced again, this time ending things for good. Because of how toxic things were between them, I guess it could be argued that Eminem was an awful partner. At number 3, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp Now having a list of celebrities who married awful people, you already know we're going to include Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's tumultuous relationship. A lot was uncovered during their massive court case last year that basically exposed Amber for having hurt Johnny Johnny while they were together and having been a horrible partner. We heard stories about Amber severing Johnny's finger with a glass bottle, many of the fights that they had, and even recordings of Amber antagonizing and hurting Johnny. There were instances of physical mistreatment as well as verbal and emotional as well, showing the world how toxic things really were behind closed doors. We found out about how Amber had been cheating on Johnny and how she allegedly went out of her way to outshine him in their industry, always being ready to make big headlines to overshadow him. Amber was no doubt one of the most awful people a celebrity could have married. At number 2, Kim Kardashian and Damon Thomas Before Kim Kardashian was ever with Kanye West or Chris Humphreys, she was married to a man named Damon Thomas. Kim and Damon eloped in 2000 when Kim was 19, but their marriage only lasted until 2004. Damon was 10 years older than her and Kim accused him of quote, poisoning her against her friends and family, and that he urged her to drop out of college. Kim also said that he would be violent towards her. On top of that, she's also said that Damon encouraged her to get plastic surgery so that she would look perfect. On the flip side of this, Damon alleged that Kim was only accusing him of all that in an attempt to get more money out of him in the divorce settlement. Either way, it sounds like Kim went through a lot of negativity with him and she certainly married an awful person. And finally at number 1, Kathy Griffin and Matthew Moline In a relationship, when trust is broken, it's very hard to rebuild it. That's why a lot of relationships and marriages crumble and this is part of the reason why Kathy Griffin divorced her husband Matthew Moline in 2005. Kathy opened up about what broke their marriage when talking to Larry King when she said, quote, my ex-husband, without my knowledge, was sneaking into my wallet when I was asleep in the mornings and taking my ATM cards of my own private accounts and withdrawing money. He admitted it and apologized, and we went to couples therapy. I really wanted to make it work. Unfortunately, we were not able to get beyond the trust issue. To steal from your partner is super sketchy and makes you a pretty awful person because not only are you breaking trust and being dishonest, but you're taking something away from this person who worked really hard to acquire it. Now before we wrap things up, I want you guys to leave a comment telling me what was the worst mistake you ever made. I'm sure there's a lot of funny, cringy, and downright awful stories you guys have to tell, so tell me all about it down in the comments. Anyways, that's it for me. I've been your host, B. Room, and until next time, stay safe, make good choices, and stay groovy, friends.